so hi friend today we are uh, going to uh, start day 2 of 100 day 100 challenge design challenge so in this video we will learn uh, about the anchors and layouts so in this video we will learn anchors uh, first thing anchors for positioning positioning the elements and second one is the layout and the third one is the difference between both anchor and the layout difference between both anchor and layout so uh, in this video we will learn anchor and layout and the difference between both and create this design uh, by using the uh, row layout column layout and the both uh, row and column and uh, also we i can show you uh, the using the anchors how we can design this design so here uh, what we need to do uh, first thing uh, here we need to like uh, use the component one of the component is text for uh, uh, to the visual uh, text element for we can use uh, there are two components available in Qt one of the text and second one is label the label is the extended version of the text and the second thing uh, we need to use button button for like creating the tile which we, we, here so we need to customize this without customization it will not uh, we cannot create design actual design like which is here so so here we have uh, the icon and here we have the text which is uh, uh, like in form of the row row layout so or form of the simple row and this is we call the button so we need to create this button and whenever we hover any of the button we will show like this color so we need to customize this button and we need to use this row layout here and if you if we see like this tile here like we have here uh, if we design want to uh, create the tile like this is the icon we have this is the icon we have and this is we have the label like engineering so this is we have the icon this is we have the level so if you see this is they form like a row they form such like a row here is the divider so we can arrange this in row if we see again this design here we have uh, the button which is they are in row if we combine this both the element in a single element then it will be uh, become a column like this is uh, one of the component and this is of the second component so let's uh, check like uh, we have this one component here one uh, but in form of a row we have two elements like one or two but in form of the column and we have the button this like open something so this is the second element in case of the column so if we check this is the column so this is the column we have and if we check here we have the row. so we need to use uh, the combination of the row layout and the column layout here to design this we use row layout like in form like we need to design something like that like we have this rectangle here so we need to create first the rectangle in inside the rectangle we need to create uh, the column layout here this is the column layout and this is the rectangle inside the column layout we place two component one component and the second component here which is button and this uh, inside this we need to place the row component 
inside the row component we need to place two elements one and two so this is the whole layout uh, about this style so we can create this style via based on this and the whole design we need to plan for like let's suppose i open another page new board Let's do it the same. So uh, here we need to design the uh, like the full design of so based on full design like we have this one as a uh, this one we have uh, the grid layout we can also design based uh, using the grid and or we can use the row two row first row and the second row and uh, these are the row inside the row we have the three elements but in form of the column one uh, one element two element three element and the four elements so we create one of the column here like column layout layout and inside the column layout we need to uh, place the element like text and uh, row layout inside the row layout we have elements 1 2 and 3 and then again we need to create the row layout and we have 1 2 3 and then again we create the text element so this is something uh, we need to plan for to creating the design and this is the element something which it uh, we discuss in this so we need to create the separate element basically here we are seeing like the row layout and the column layout And third one is the anchor positioning anchors and the fourth one is the customization or the custom component basically and the use of custom component so these are uh, we are talking uh, in our uh, in this design so this will be learned let's open QT creator here so I want to create one of the project here. Uh, let's use this QTQ and I give it name the day two. And uh, we use the QMake for now, the build system. And let's continue. So I'm using QT6 for it. And avoid the QT file and this is the uh, like I use created the project so here we will learn how to design this basically this so uh, first thing we need to do we need to like uh, download the uh, icons from this design so I will share this design with you so you can try with yourself also after watching the video and understanding the concept how we design this so let's download and you can use png base svg base so basically let's uh, download this one by one all the components here So these are some of the uh, images I downloaded. Let me open this images in download folder. 
so we have this four images uh not four but uh, six let's copy this and go to the home directory here and here we have the day two challenge this one and let's uh, create one folder icons here inside the icon we put this image and let's uh, import these image here add against an image file inside the icon let's select all So I exported all the image. So as we discuss here, like first we need to create uh, the column layout and then text and then row layout, row layout and then text. So row layout means the text element for this and row layout for this, row layout for this and the text for this. So first let's uh, extract the color property of this. Let's select so this is the color we need to apply for the window color so let's import first the layout or uh, using the layout let's import for the control or using the buttons uh, first we need to customize the buttons so we need uh, to use the basic control from here so day two challenge day two here you can put anything challenge and we need to apply some color of the window so let's suppose i apply this and also we need to use height and width of the window like 1600 and 1200 1600 and 1200 so this is something let's run this and see the changes So this is we created the window here we are trying to design this uh, the design we have this one so let's uh, uh, create a layout so sub, first of all we create the column layout here column layout inside the column layout we uh, need to position this uh, column layout in the center so for place this column layout in center we need to use the anchor anchor dot center so we place this uh, in center and we need to apply some basically uh, yeah some uh, the misplaced design let me see change So basically we need to use the spacing, how much spacing is, if you see here is the equal, uh, some different spacing we are using, like if we use the grid layout, then do not worry, we use the row, uh, here, here use the row spacing and here we use the column spacing, but we are trying to design this based on the row and, uh, and column, so if you see here, we have the different, uh, like uh, the spacing in here we have the different or we can say the similar for up and down but here we don't have uh, uh, the equal then what we can do uh, we can uh, we can uh, assign a spacing zero and then we put the element inside the column to applying the height of that item then it will uh, adjust based on the applying, applying uh, the height but uh, we can also create uh, some different layout which uh, uh, behave the similar like uh, inside the column layout we again create the column layout and where we place the two row let's suppose like i have the text field so i'm using the text here and here uh, text i'll give here the text uh, uh, open position okay let's suppose open position and we have 32 and the color uh, font dot pixel size is 32 and color we need to apply this one we have this one color so i apply this color here 
and now I am using the column layout again the by default it will take uh, the five spacing so here I am uh, taking the column layout and again column inside the column layout we create two two row layout for the tiles so row layout like I created two layout and then again we need to place the text here inside so we have three component one component which is the top one which is the bottom one and this is the middle one and inside the middle one we have the two row so let's suppose I want to give the 20 high uh, 20 spacing between the row and the column so first we need to apply here for the column spacing is 20 and then again we need to apply for row to equally distribute so spacing then we apply 20 20 for all and let's manage like we need to apply inside the uh, the column layout we need to manage the child element not all the child element but the neighbor child like the first one child uh, first layer of the child via the layout property so layout dot alignment and alignment what is the align dot the oriental center and put it on align but so this is we copy for all and we apply for all like this inside uh, the column layout we have again the row layout which is the neighbor of like which is the first element of the column layout like this is the parent for the row so we also apply for this is also managed by the layout so we apply here and we apply here and let's uh, use this and check the size and the i think the color uh, one e two two which is different uh, no color is the same but the font size is different so we need to use here uh, the wrap wrap oh, so text dot wrap text dot wrap anywhere of the uh, boundary or the anywhere so we apply but uh, we need to wrap this element we need to also align uh, because if you see here uh, it is like wrap in the horizontally basically uh, horizontally but if you see here uh, the ba basis is uh, the the second line is in in the uh, center so we need to also apply one of the property of the text which is the horizontal alignment horizontal alignment text dot align horizontal center so this one and we can also apply the vertical center uh, property so then vertical alignment then text dot align vertical center so we apply this to wrap in the middle but uh, one more thing we need to apply here the uh, prefer width because currently it takes the all the width available so one more thing we need to because we don't have the restrictions for like we don't have the rectangle inside the rectangle we don't have the design but we don't have the restriction so how much uh, the width is it fill so it will take the whole width so we need to apply some width based on that so let's create the tile first so inside the tile like width tile of the width is 330 and 251 330 and 251 so let's create the rectangle here inside the rectangle the width and height is 251 251 so we need to create three uh, of the rectangle let's uh, check the uh, radius so radius is 16 and color is white so radius is uh, applied to radius is 16 and the color is white so by default it will take the color white but we need to apply externally just for confirmation so this is something is repeat repeating so we can create uh, the separate component for to repeat and we can create some property to assign like the icon the one of the things is change which is the icon second mm -hmm. is the name and third one is the number of the position so we can create three 
property and we that property will only change so let's create one file here so if i click on here and we add new file i will select the qt and then qt quick file so here i we name this as a tile job tile like job tile so i created the separate file so here we i use the rectangle so like basically the similar which is i copy from here this one and i use inside this so i apply the height and width and the radius and the color and we also need to create three property first one like i create a property which is number of the position which is the integer type so int and here we put the number of position and currently assigned with zero and second uh, property is the string type which is the title job title job title and assign the entity and second one is the icon so property and here we take the string type and here we take uh, the icon and this is also the empty for now so we have the three property now these property we will reassign and let let use this job type here so job type and if you see we don't change the color so we just uh, reassign this property just three one of the three here and similarly we need to assign the uh, these are three property like the icon job property number of position job title here so number of position let's suppose i assign 12 and job title job title i'll assign and here icon icon so these are some of the property like job title i assign just as a dummy design and uh, design and number of the position i sorry design and icon i already downloaded so just let's assign this simply and let's copy these then after that we'll change this just and then copy here and then we assign here so these are uh, text and let's uh, decide some height and width so let's suppose uh, we have this and also we have the spacing so i'll name this column as a layout tile layout basically the tile layout and tile layout the implicit width assign the proper width let layout dot prefer width should be the layout dot implicit of this so it will take uh, the width of the list so not extend uh, the text beyond the column layout and uh, we already assigned this and we need to like if you see the job title is the parent element is the row layout so job title also managed by the uh uh lay uh like alignment so let's put this alignment to here this and this and similar here so this is something uh, we created the dummy layout let's see run and how it will look like something so if you see uh, almost similar behavior we achieve but here the text size is different which is the 16 only so let's uh, assign the 16 only uh, it's only 32 and we have uh, some like here the uh, suppose uh, if we have the developer access of the figma then we directly get how much the spacing we have between this elements but if we don't have then we need to assume how much like width we have between the element of the two so let's uh, open this and if you see uh, let's select this 
and here it will show the 32 so we apply the 32 but here i think the 64 we need to apply if you see between this two element is not actually mentioning how much but it will take auto so we assign uh instead of 32 we assign some uh here the 64 so instead of the 20 we have the 32 so let's uh, uh, apply 32 for both and here we apply 64 the spacing between the column so 64 i assume the 64 you can apply on the basis of your requirement so if you see it will uh, like uh, wrap similarly like they have they have the three lines because they apply some small width uh, of that so let's we also do this and if you see uh, we have something like similar we also created the tiles we just uh, need to create the tiles if you see this is something uh, we have they have bold bold if you see here uh, some di different uh, the font family also we can also apply this font family let's uh, i make this uh, as a bold so we have the property bold making the bold of any of the text so font dot search font dot uh, bold then font dot bold we have this so we create this bold and let's uh, design this style basically this style so in and uh, tile we already discussed then how to create the tile so we need to use this uh, like this is something we have the rectangle already created and here we need to place the column layout column layout so here we place the column layout inside the column layout we have the row layout here row layout and we have the button here in button uh, row layout we have the image and second is the text these two uh, we need to use inside this so, so we can create this style so let's create this style so here uh, we need to use uh, first one is the column layout so we need to include uh, import uh, layout we need to use component for the button control sorry control and the basic control because we need to customize this button so let's uh, uh, do this to use column layout first and column layout between the center so we need to use center uh, anchor for centering the column layout and we also need to apply some height and uh, sorry we need to apply some uh, the spacing like if you assume here i think they provide some width the spacing between uh, don't know how much spacing they provided here so i apply the 5 and default and here the 10 so let's uh, use the image uh, uh, row layout inside this inside the row layout we use image and image here i use image let's source apply this image like icon i apply icon this one so we can also provide the id here root and root dot icon okay to convenience and let's uh, create the text here so i'll copy from the here this text to it and let's open this and here the text field we have this also let's apply this let's apply this here and here we have the uh, design so we apply this uh, text as a uh, job title so root dot job title job title so and let's check the font of this like font we have the 24 and the medium so 24 and this is the medium 
boldness of the medium of this so we apply the medium in 24 the i think the color is the similar color is the similar same for this and we need to uh, we discuss we need to also create the button so button let's suppose i created the button and here we need to apply because basically the default is uh, the rule layout spacing is five already but uh, if you want to the more than five or less than five then we can need to mention otherwise we can keep as a, a default so but we need to apply for the column layout as a spacing because default is five but we need to apply the 10 10 something 15 something then we need to apply this and uh, we also let's uh, give it the name of this let's suppose this name so let's uh, uh, check how much uh, the width of this button we have so let's uh, select this button and check here that it have 250 and 59 250 and 59 so width layout dot prefer width 250 and layout dot prefer height prefer height something is 59 so i apply here the 59 i use here uh, not the simple height and width but uh, the prefer width you can use but uh, uh, the qt suggested to use uh, inside the uh, layouts like column area i am using the layout so inside the layout the button we have the uh first child first child basically the first layer of the child so here we need to apply uh to the prefer with prefer with means like the uh, minimum width of button is 250 and uh, the column will preserve this width and extend all the elements based on that width we can apply the simple height and width but some times like if you are not in applying the parent element as a width, width then it will not default take that width and height so we need to apply some layout dot prefer width layout dot height uh, prefer height and layout dot uh, if we want to limit the maximum and minimum width of that element then we also have the property like layout dot minimum width layout dot maximum width so I apply this and let's uh, I uh, apply the text text which is uh, like position so so this is the constant for all the button then we can use the constant like all the button but the position number of the position is different then we use the argument and here we use the percentage one like as a javascript format or the something sp so here I use this root dot number of position so it will take and here we apply and we need to also apply this uh the alignment where like we are not need to use in the center so let's uh, run this and see the changes if it is affecting or not so if you see this is something created and here this is the icon and the design but it looks uh, similar but not filling exactly this width because we have some large and we need to apply some also a button radius so if you see here apply 8 radius we need to apply some like uh, most 20 let's do this 20 and we need to apply the radius we need to customize this button in customized we have the property called it background and background we need to fill the rectangle and rectangle that anchor dot fill the parent fill parent and we need to apply the radius and use radius property like 8 we have the radius and color color we have the different like current currently have the uh, white but if we hover this then we have the different color let's suppose i apply the white color here here but we need to also apply uh, the mouse basically uh, the hover hover let's suppose I use the mouse area here mouse area and anchor dot fill but we don't want to x perform action of the mouse then we need to use, use 
one of the property of the mouse which is accepted button accepted button i accept no button no button because we want to use the qt on click signal we can also use the mouse area click signal but we want to use the button which is the native so let's uh, here one of the property we have the hover enable and the hover enable then we use this and let's uh, name of this mouse area is mouse area the id we created and based on this already created one of the property we have the mouse area is called content and contain mouse so let's suppose mouse area dot contain mouse then we need to apply some different color otherwise we need to apply so i use ternary operator here like we need to apply this color so this is different color we need to apply on hover or the press so let's suppose i do this so this is something i let, let let's suppose i run once again and see if it, it is gone like uh, currently uh, the uh, text also uh, use the same uh, color of the background basically the qt implemented something so we need to change like color if you see we have some different color we need to only apply the border then hover on that time it will color change the white so that time we selected this that time if the color is something this this one color in normal case so we need to also apply the content not the content let's open this button and if we copy this label content layout and just apply here then we need to name this button as a control and we can also create this separate separate uh, button and we can use this button and here we have the property of the color then we need to remove this or rest of the line and we can use uh, as per our requirement let's suppose we have the content mouse that time uh, we need to use this like content mouse then we need to use white otherwise we need to use this color something is different from the background color and normal uh, normally we need to use uh, the border dot color is similar like border dot color is something which is this like c2 so let's uh, use this border dot color and normally otherwise we use let's suppose the content mouse then we need to use this existing color which is match the similar color of the button so let's check if it is working or not as expected you see like it is working still changing the color but we need to also adjust uh, 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 the some spacing which is not actually matching as well a requirement so we need let's suppose we apply here 40 and we apply here here uh, yeah the 40 but here we need to apply some the 20 so let's check yeah now it looks perfect uh for uh, which is a similar look like uh, the design if you see I uh, open this and uh, something you see uh, but we need to apply some uh, things like uh, the boldness in here you see uh, boldness to apply this and let's uh, apply exactly how much bold is let's medium we have the medium so uh, the position and the text also the medium and font uh, we need to also apply the medium of the button so uh, button we have already font dot uh, bold then font dot medium because if you see we have control this we need to apply here the font it will take the font of the control font so default take and we also apply the font dot pixel size 
pixel size size is 80 so here we can apply font dot pixel size with 18 here so let's run and see if it match now yeah it looks fine now so let's change the icon and the title of actual titles so we need to change title is here we apply some design 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 but we need to apply some actual engineering operations people so here we need to do the engineering and here we need operations let's copy and paste of people cell university sales and here the university so let's copy this also and uh, the different different icon so let's suppose i want to use this this is something uh, you see here the university so this is for the university let's apply that for the university icon and uh, the fourth one is uh, which is the table base which is the call the sales so let's apply this for the sales and uh, the third one something call it people so let's apply this on the people and this one for the setting something the operations so we use this for the operations so let's use for the operations and this one for the engineering let's run this so uh, yeah uh, we check something it will it will look similar like uh, our design which will be implemented if you see uh, let's move this to the left side a little bit and we also move this to the right so this is looks as similar something but if you see here some apply outline it uh, here something is shown but and on my design it will only curve but not so the uh, shadow so we need to apply some shadow here so i already created the component in our github page so let's open it github.com cpp city this and if you see here and go to the repository section in repository section the youtube uh, modern home automation so here if you see inside the design if you see this is something i already apply here if you see it already applied something which is the cleaner design so let's do this and apply this one so we have the set rectangle this one so we need to use this rectangle let's copy this and make the component here the set rectangle one of the file i created the set of set of rectangle so let's apply this and let's remove this for the component here and here we use white and if you see we need to also use alpha color of this so let's uh, open again and open the style file here and style file we have the one of the function which create the alpha color so let's copy this and just put it here and we don't need to apply this style because we are just put it not common just for here so it will take uh, and yeah rest of the okay so let's use this rectangle to use this rectangle we need to go inside the tile and here we need to use shadow rectangle shadow shadow rectangle here so use the shadow rectangle let's run this and see the difference yeah it uh, like 
the sort uh, the rectangle that's it is the path of the height of the rectangle because we need to apply some uh, sort of layout layout dot path basically the layout dot prepare path so layout dot prepare path and layout dot prepare height layout dot prepare height so let's check once again yeah if you see now it uh, look something uh, cleaner design which we expected that like tile if you see something which is look the above uh, the design so this is the design which is similar look like uh, this almost if you see this is look like the almost the same so I'm going to push this uh, uh, code code to the github so let's commit this code open terminal and go to the design cd j2 j2 and here i initialize the git in it i added this let's sub i add this so we have this and we commit this changes and push the github so you can find the design and i also push this on youtube so check so this is something so that's it for the video hope you learn something and try yourself and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you